Hello, what's going on people? My name is Big Money and this is a quick Q&A. I say quick, it's like, what, 15 minutes long? It's not so quick. But uh, it's a Q&A nonetheless, and I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Twitter. My Twitter's in the description, by the way, if you want to be involved in one of these in the future, then uh, look out for it on Twitter, on my uh, Twitter account, because that's kind of where I ask things. Um, so, that's that. Uh, so I'm gonna just delve right into questions here from uh, from you guys, what you've asked me, and uh, I will answer them because that is how you deal with questions. Is this guy kills me with zero percent health because I am one lucky motherfucker, right? So first one up here, we've got F1 veteran. Could you upload a bad uh, bad company two commentary? You missed that game. Uh, I think I'll probably be doing some stuff from past Battlefield games. I think it might be a plan to do videos every now and again from old Battlefield titles, such as uh, Bad Company 2. Uh, I might buy Bad Company 1 for the PS3. That might be an idea. I might do that. I used to have it. I used to play it quite a bit, uh, but I sold it because I had no use for it once BC2 was out, you know. Um, I'll play some BC2, BC1 maybe, uh, Battlefield 1943, I've got Battlefield 2 even though I don't like it so much but I could give it a go and I could play some uh, Battlefield play for free and I have no idea what this guy's doing. Uh, why Why have you landed your chopper right in the middle of our base? That was not a smart idea. So uh, yeah, I'll, short answer, yes, I'm, I'll do some bad company too for you guys. Uh, Daniel O'Neill, uh, how challenging? How challenging? I cannot read. <laughs> is it to deal with all the YouTube demand? As in, do you get stressed if you don't have a video ready? I'm not the type of person to get stressed. It's not really me. Uh, even in situations where I should be stressed, I just sort of I'm a pretty laid back person in general. So. Uh, no, I don't really get stressed, but uh, every now and again I upload a video and I, you know it'll go public or whatever. I'll edit it all out and I'll check it over and all the rest of it, I'll put it up and then I'll upload it. And there's that little period of time between uploading it and uh, say an hour afterwards where I, I have in the back of my mind like, shit, did I do something stupid? Did I m mess up? Or uh, Every now and again I do, that's why there's this self-conscious sort of thinking, just like, oh fuck, if I mess something up, like, sometimes I've forgotten to edit in the ninja stab sound uh, effect, and it just ends up me stopping mid-sentence, going, and now we go up to this guy, and, and then nothing for like two seconds, and then like, yeah, I ninja stabbed him, <laughs> you know, sometimes I mess things up, and uh, that is a worry sometimes, that I have done something to embarrass myself, but uh, it's not really a reoccurring thing, but, uh, Really, I don't get stressed about things like that, and plus, it's hardly, you know, performing open heart surgery, it's video making on YouTube, it's not serious business, you know, it's a good bit of fun, and uh, I don't get stressed over things like that, but uh, moving on. Uh, what else we got here, right, from Dunkasaurus, will you ever play on consoles again? Uh, I don't know, if you're meaning Battlefield 3, then not much else. I might play a little bit more, but I need to check up and see how it's doing. I think someone said that the input lag has been solved. I don't really believe them, but I'll have a, I'll maybe have a go at it. I've actually been tempted to uh, play a little bit uh, over the past like week or something, but I never ever, I've not bothered to do it. Um, but I might give it a go. Again, we'll see. But I don't think that the console footage is as interesting to watch because it's a lot slower, the movement's a lot slower, there's a lot less people, and all, all, all round I just feel that the PC version of the game is, uh, is better uh, and more interesting to watch, so I don't know. In terms of video making, I don't know if I'm going to do much more else on, uh, on PS3, but uh, I might play a little bit more on the PS3 just for the sake of it really, just for fun. But uh, moving on, what else have we got here? Uh, from Son of a Gun, um, what DLC are you looking forward to the most? I'm liking the sound of uh, Aftermath, that was the one that just sort of came out of nowhere uh, when they basically said, oh you can get all these DLCs, they'd never mentioned that one before. As I try and knife this guy and it fails. You might notice the knife is old by the way, this is an old gameplay, I think it was recorded in April, I need to clear out my hard drive of all old stuff. Um, fuck, I've lost my train of thought there. Yeah, Aftermath is set after the nuke goes off in Paris in the story mode. I'm sorry, if I spoiled something that's like one third into the game. If you've not played it so far, then that's your fault, not mine. <laughs> um, so, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be like some sort of post-apocalyptic France, uh, Paris. And uh, that sounds interesting, so I'd like to see how that 
pans out. Also, I'm looking forward to the new uh, Armored Kill one that's coming out soon, coming out August, I think. Um, cause, uh, simply because I want to see how the AC-130 plays out and stuff like that, and uh, it's all vehicle sort of stuff, so yeah, I should not have lost this battle here, but uh, yeah, the PP-2000 and he gets lucky and kills me. Uh, moving on, Chad Jaffa, what are your full PC specs and how did you get into PC gaming? I'm going to put my specs up on the screen just now because, uh, like I've said in the past, I don't know them off the top of my head because I don't really care about PC specs and stuff like that. It's not really something I'm interested in. Um, so there's the stuff on the screen. If I remember to edit it in, like I said earlier on, I forget to do stuff sometimes. So hopefully I remember <laughs> later on. Um, and I'm not just talking like an idiot here. So that's that. And uh, I got into PC gaming because uh, I had this computer. Uh, I bought it to use the, the PVR on. Um, back when I first, you know, went HD, because I was using the Dazzle for ages, which is standard definition, of course. Um, so I had this computer ready. Uh, I had it there. I did. I, I really had no intention of PC gaming on it. Um, but the Steam sales came around, and I, I just saw some of the deals on it, and I was like, shit, man, I really want some of these games, but my PC can't really handle it. That it was lacking a graphics card in the beginning. Uh, it had everything else, but had didn't have a graphics card. Uh, didn't have a. It had like a really shitty stock one uh, that came with the PC. Because uh, I didn't build my PC, I just bought one because all I wanted to do really was uh, use my PVR on it. So uh, I just had the stock stuff. And um, I saw all the games and I just sort of, you know, bought quite a few. And eventually I saved up and uh, bought myself a, a new graphics card, a ATI. Or is it AMD? Shit, I forgot. <laughs> uh, I think it's ATI. Uh, Radon 5850. It's actually not bad. It does most things. Uh, but uh, I think I need a, a better processor and stuff, as you probably saw the specs already. But I just decided, you know what, fuck it, man. We'll try out some PC gaming. And I basically just ended up, you know, playing more, more and more PC. And, well, that took over, really. Um, okay, Jacob Pickard, are you at all interested in the Ghost Recon Futures, in Ghost Recon Future Soldier? Uh, you said a while ago that you, about being interested in the beta, but no videos. Uh, thank you to the person that gave me that beta code, by the way, but I never actually played, uh, it was a waste of a beta code, and I apologise for that. Uh, reason for it being, uh, when I installed it and tried to go on, the game didn't work, I don't know if the servers were down or whatever, I can't remember, uh, but the game didn't work. Uh, the first time that I tried it. The first and only time I went on and actually tried it. And then I just left it on the computer. And I don't play my PS3 very often, so I forgot all about it, really. And I left it on the PS3 and it sat there for however long the beta was running for. And then the game came out and blah, blah, blah. And you know, obviously the beta is now redundant. So I didn't actually try it out. Uh, and in regards to buying it, I don't really think I will. Uh, maybe sometime in the future, but it's not for multiplayer. I just wanted to, you know, try the game out or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know. I've got too many games as it is at the moment, and there's a lot of other ones coming out that I'd rather buy. You know, I want to buy Max Payne and stuff like that. So we shall see. Uh, what else we got here? Timo asking me, would you pay an extra one hundred pounds for a next-gen console if, it's, if so it could have playback ability? No, because uh, I don't know. Once you have the next console, you don't really want to play your old games, at least I don't, I mean, for example, I had my PlayStation 3, I had a bunch of PS2 games as well, because I still had, I still had a PS2, so I could still play them, but I never ever did, I never bothered with it, so, I don't see me wanting to play old games if I've got a PS4, you know, I mean, I don't want to play PS, oh, you know, old PS3 games if I've got a PS4, I don't know, um, I'm not really too bothered about playback ability, I know a lot of people would like that, and then the, the first generation of PlayStation 3's had it, but then they took it out for... Uh, budget reasons or something, so um, I wouldn't really be too too bothered about that. Uh, pff, what we got next here? What games will be released in the near future? Do you plan on playing uh, The Last of Us, Assassin's Creed Three, Watch Dogs, and some others? I covered it in a uh, E3 video that I made after, just after E3 finished uh, a few weeks ago. So if you're interested in finding more about that, then uh, it will be there. Um, in fact, I might even link that one at the end of this video. I've started putting end slates in, so if I remember to, I'll link that one later on. <laughs> a lot of this is like, if I remember it, then I'll do it. <laughs> Noobcake, 
Yeah. Warrior so. plans now that you're done with school. I'm done with college, not school. Uh, <laughs> Americans call it school all the time. It's fucking college. <laughs> I'm not 15 anymore. <laughs> um, I want to focus a lot more on uh, doing the YouTube thing for now. Uh, I just finished college just there doing a television course. So I learned a bit more about, you know, video creation and doing things like that. I mean, of course, I uh, we made that short actual comedy film thing. Um, and stuff like that. I want to do stuff like that. I want to do sketches and short films and uh, fun things, fun projects and stuff for you guys to watch and like. And uh, just focus more on doing YouTube work for now. Uh, that's the short term plan. Uh, if that doesn't quite develop as much as I'd want it to, maybe I'll try and get a job in the television industry. So we shall see. Because I have passed the course and I do have the qualifications to, to work in the TV industry, but uh, finding a job in there is not easy. <laughs> Plus I have this YouTube thing like right now in here. I've already worked at this for a couple of years, so I have this, so that's why I'm focusing on that. Um, Evil Dave, what is your field of study in college? Just covered that <laughs> literally two seconds ago. So yeah, television. Um, Astro Zombie, opinion on the Jairus situation. <sighs> you asked, someone asked me this last time. They, they shot themselves in the foot. They should go into the third division because uh, that is the way the rules work. You don't get special treatment because you're Rangers and no, we deserve the best. Fuck you and you, you shot yourself in the foot. Screw you. End of that. <laughs> I know a lot of people are probably not going to like that, but uh, that's the way I think about this, honestly. That you ask for my opinion, that's my opinion. Anyway, uh, Star DD, if you could change one thing in Battlefield 3, what would it be? I know this has been asked a lot. Yeah, it has been asked a lot. What would it change? I don't know. I, I think I, I said something in the past, and it was like the M26 Dart or something like that. Uh, I don't know what I would change. I would change my character and only my character in the game has an indestructible uh, indestructible mech suit that uh, can wipe out whole maps in one shot. I don't know. For, <laughs> so uh, Let's move on here. The Amazing Mikey. Uh, ever going to do a series of video for a non-Battlefield game? I've done them in the past and I have, uh, you know, like I mentioned in a video actually. Earlier today, yesterday, uh, to you guys when you're watching this. Um... I plan on moving into doing other games as well, but uh, like I've said in the past as well, it's not even just the fact that, oh, moving away from Battlefield, I'm not doing that really, but I want to move away from focusing completely on gaming, not just Battlefield 3, completely on gaming. I'd like to do more live action stuff, so if I can, I will, just so you know. Um, but uh, in terms of doing other games, yeah, if something comes up that's interesting to do and people want to see it, then uh, sure, I'd like to do something different. It's just as long as, you know, I'm, I can do my part easily in making the videos, but if you guys don't want to watch them, what's the point? That's that's the way that I see it. Um, so if you continue supporting, you know, videos that are non-Battlefield 3 videos for me, from me, then uh, I will gladly do other ones, but uh, you guys seem to be more uh, sort of inclined to watch Battlefield uh, rather than non-Battlefield, and look at me fail here. Right, okay, next question here from Ashley J. Will you go back and play Battlefield 1942 slash Battlefield 2 if loads of us did? I've never played Battlefield 1942. I have Battlefield 2, but I've never played 1942. But I don't really like 19... I don't like... I don't really like uh, Battlefield 2. I don't know. It's too slow for my, my liking. And uh, the hit detection for me is fucking weird on that. But I don't know. I might try it. Biggest fear. That's from Joseph McDowell. Uh, coming from someone that's six foot five, it's a bit ironic, but uh, heights. <laughs> I hate heights. Oh, I cannot stand heights. It's so. Uh, it just really fucks with my head. I don't know where it is. Uh, Ricky Bendel. So, Bale signed a new deal uh, for Tottenham. Do you think he will get ahead of us? Yes. Fuck you, man, with your forever in your shadows, or forever in our shadows. Get up, you man! <laughs> they will fucking best you. I'm telling you. And when they do, I will laugh at you. Uh, Timo, another Arsenal sport, of course. Uh, I've had my fair share of injuries. Some, uh, some not bad to some lifelong. Okay. Uh, did you have any bad injuries? No. I've never broken a bone in my body ever. I dislocated my shoulder once, but that's as bad as it's gotten. Uh, 
But uh, my team won, and that's me actually finished the questions there, so that's handy. Uh, my team won, and I uh, went 25 for 13, but that's not important. You guys asked some questions there, and uh, look out for some more opportunities to be featured in the video of mine in the future, and I'll try and remember to add in all those things that I said I would add in. But I'll see you guys later on. I hope you did enjoy. Goodbye. Oh, we got our new Mario game. Oh, look, new Zelda. Oh, look, new this and new that. And Well, naturally, it's just new Zelda and new Mario. And, uh, and then show you their Wii U console that no one cares about because it's old tech.